So if you have positive slides, you get the slide film holder and on the side with the white arrows, you slide your uh, slide in. And if it has, can you see this? If it has text, you face that text downward and slide that in. If I flip this over, you can see this window here is where the image should be in each of these slots. Then for medium format film, you'll get the long one that says uh, six by seven or six by nine. For this one, uh, you flip it over on the other side of the arrows and open the back. And then always touch your film by the edges. Don't touch it in the middle. Your film will have text on the top. This one says Kodak. I will be able to read that the correct way facing me and lay that down. Then I want just the edge to be caught by the frame. Get my hand blower and blow the dust off. Use an anti-static cloth. Then I'll line these arrows up with the arrows in the scanner. Then if you have a 35 millimeter film, uh, get the 35 millimeter frame. Um, 35 millimeter film has uh, emulsion side, which is not shiny. And it has a non-emulsion side, which is shiny. And the non-emulsion side will also have numbers or text on it, uh, which you'll want to locate. Then for this, a uh, frame, you also flip this over and open it up from the back like this. Uh, then you find where your text or numbers are and have those uh, face you correctly so you can read them. Slide this in. The largest size film that you can scan on the scanner is 4x5. Uh, this is also called sheet film, and you'll get the 4x5 uh, holder for that. You'll also flip this holder over and open the back. Then, very gently, only touch the edges of your film. On a four by five piece of film, it should also have some kind of text around the border. Mine says Fuji film. Have that facing you. And then you put that in the frame and gently make sure it's lying flat and it's not warped inside of the frame and dust it off. Then we'll flip it over and put it into the scanner with these two arrows.